Let's make our first demo, live demo of a gym environment. Here you can see the gym environment. Here we import the libs that we need. Here we import a gym, like a library. Then we're creating environments, moving environment to the initial state. Then we're rendering it. We show what is our observation space and what is our action space. And here you can see all available space of coordinates where we can change our location and number of actions that are available to us. Actions are move right, move left. Gym interface has several main methods. You already saw reset. Reset environment to the initial state. Return first observation. In chess game, for example, if we reset environment, we will move to the initial position of figures where we have two lines of black and two lines of white, one in front of other. Then we have render. It just renders the environment. It shows to the user what is there, what is the current state of environment in visual form. This is what you see here. See, this is because we call this function render. The most important function, I would say, is step. Step is committing an action and getting a set of a new observation reward flag whether the episode is ended and this diagnostic array. Step, we committed an action to the environment and received these parameters. New observation is the next state that was achieved as a result of action. After committing the action to the environment, reward is the numeric value representing the appraisal or punishment for agent for this particular action is done. This episode has finished and info is auxiliary array that helps us to better understand what has happened. You can use it or not. To reset the environment again, and um, now we're trying to deploy actually our agent into environment. We got some reward. We got indicator that uh, episode hasn't finished yet. And uh, here is the particular action that we took. The agent, the card pole, has only two actions. It's move right or move left. You will have the same in a salt game. You will be able to move uh, your rocket to the left or to the right. And uh, observation is X coordinate and uh, angle of acceleration vector. Here we can call the policy. Policy is a, a logic how agent X. Remember here, policy is a decision making logic of an agent. It gets the state and returns action. But how it works and what is it? Here you can see that the policy is some kind of a hard code. If we implement a policy as a hard code, is it fine? Yes, it is fine. It is still a policy. It's a decision-making pattern. That's fine. But we could also substitute the policy with a neural network to try to fit actions. Yeah, that's also a valid approach. We can implement policy as a huge table. If you got this observation, this action, if you got this observation, make this action. If we do this, uh, implement a table, this will be Q learning. This table will be called Q table. If we substitute the policy with a trained neural network, it will be deep Q network. Here are where the names comes from. Their essence is that this is a decision making rules. Now, if we run our non-optimal policy, see, it's just a stop. It does nothing. It always returns right. Our card pole is moves, but uh, not very successful. After some time, we haven't uh, hit the desired goal. So we will have to invent something better than this policy to achieve our goal.